Thank you so much for being here today. Um, it's fantastic having you here because I think I missed you in Sitges in October. Did you went yeah, to sure. Sitges? I wish I could have. I didn't. No. Ah, okay. Uh, I because couldn't, I couldn't actually afford it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Because <laughs> I saw your name yeah. uh, and I thought this I've seen uh, on the scheduling yeah. in Sitges, but I didn't. See you over there, so maybe that's why. Okay, so you couldn't go. No. Okay. No, I couldn't make it. Yeah. So unfortunately, Sidious doesn't actually. So in the UK, we have like this. Um, we there is a fund that's available, public money, mm -hmm. to allow people to go to festivals, but Sidious just doesn't fall under that category, yeah. unfortunately. Even though it's so prestigious, yeah. I, I don't really know why. And I I tried to appeal it, but they um. Yeah, yeah, no, it's go. expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. lots of money because I don't live yeah. in Barcelona, so I have to travel as well, and it's it gets expensive. Sure. Yeah, because it's yeah, yeah, packed yeah. With Barcelona people. is a city, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's expensive yeah. And then, yeah. It's a really nice experience. So I really hope uh, you can go with yeah. your next project, maybe. So yeah, it, and it could be a or even just as a yeah, yeah, even just as a guest, maybe. Like I'm. I'm Curious to see like the festival and stuff, you yeah. know. Uh, I do love going to festivals. So, the atmosphere yeah. is out of this world. You, you'll get to see it someday. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure you will enjoy Amazing. it. Well, yeah. uh, first of all, congrats uh, because the short film is really short, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it gets to you, <laughs> really. <laughs> good, good. Thank you. That's good. It's good to hear. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. Um, yeah, we when we set out we really wanted to do something we actually wanted to do something even shorter uh, initially um and uh, like so the script is a little bit shorter than the, the film itself and so you know the edit dictated the length at the end but yeah i'm glad you said that yeah yeah, yeah because it's really it's really short but i love uh, the infinite possibilities it presents because to get right to the point. So I guess I have to ask. Uh, my dreams have been dark of late. Uh, it mm. is the beginning, is in the middle, or is at the end of a feature film? Because I need more. <laughs> so uh, well, it's good. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good that you want more. But unfortunately, no, it's oh. neither of those things. It's oh. it's its total own thing. Uh, I actually, to be perfectly honest, like I, I love when people do that. I love when they do like a concept for, for a feature and they do like a scene from a film. I think it's really cool. Uh, but I think I sort of was thinking about it and I, I was trying to think about, I think really I'm a bit of a completist myself and I really struggle watching TV actually because there's so many cliffhangers all the time and yeah. seasons get cancelled and things like that, right? Whereas I kind of like a set piece, you know, and um, I suppose it's a bit traditional in a way. And so I wanted to do that here. And uh, I think, but what it could be is a sort of a, um, a cut like a, uh, like um, a showcase of theme. I think we'll probably touch upon the, th the same themes again in future work for sure, but not the same story. You know? Yeah, okay, okay. Because I wasn't sure as I was watching it. Uh, you can see the character is running up the hill. It's really tired. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's heavy. It's a steel armor, right? So it must be heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You are like tired. Maybe he's fleeing from somewhere. You don't know really. Uh -huh. And and then mm -hmm. everything starts to to crumble, to crash, and it gets uh, suffocating. And I was, is this something in his head, in uh, his mind? Is, is he imagining it? What is happening here? Were you looking for that in the audience? A hundred percent, yeah, okay. absolutely. Like, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny you say that because my initial 
pitch to the BFI for our funding mentioned, um, I talked a lot about Ingmar Bergman. He's like one of my absolute favorite filmmakers. And he talks a lot about dreams and reality and the, the how films are like kind of in between all these things. And, um, and that was kind of a real kicking off point for me. And it's also in the title as well, you know, it's, uh, it's a dream, it's a fever yeah. dream. You know? Yeah, but it's so realistic that, uh-huh. I don't know, you're like, wow, it's this for real? Uh, and I have uh-huh. to ask, I'm gonna jump right at it. Um, sure. where, yeah, did, where did you find the steel armor? <laughs> Uh, uh, well, is yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it's this. It's full, yeah, the there's there was a company uh, in uh, in the UK called Arms and Archery, and they do like they do uh, dressing for a lot of extras, oh, okay. uh, period based extras. Yeah, okay. so they they actually did some Game of Thrones stuff, and they've done a lot of like um we have this thing called Horrible Histories here, which is like a sort of a, like an educational comedy series about the past, you yeah. know? So you'll have like Shakespeare and stuff and they, they costume those guys. And uh, they were really sweet, really friendly people. And uh, he just had like loads of armor just lying around in his garage, loads of like swords. And it was like a real uh, nerd fest <laughs> of history, you know? And, uh, but he was also really kind of like he understood the filmmaking process mm-hmm. for those particular bits of costume as well, um, okay. which was really helpful for me because I'd obviously never shot uh, anything shiny like that before. Yeah, I guess <laughs> so, yeah. it's like uh, you only have four minutes, but it's a lot of things to process, to have in mind, to keep like mm-hmm. this goes here, this goes there, and I need to focus on this part now. Uh, so. The, the thing I'm really curious about, how did you manage to crash the metal? Is that a special effects? <laughs> is, how? <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It's a bit okay. of practical. It's a bit, it's a bit of VFX. Um, so I, had, I bought these sort of one meter by one meter square sheets mm-hmm. of aluminium. Oh, okay. And uh, it's, yeah, it's the same kind of material that they make the armor out. So the armor's not steel, it's aluminium. So it's a bit lighter for the actors. So it's not as, it's not as tiring as, as it would have been. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, otherwise you have very sweaty actors. Yeah. Um, and so I bought this material and I, I basically bought like, I don't know, say, I think like eight uh, sheets of this mm-hmm. for each kind of area on the body. So I had a lot of sheets of metal basically. And I just had a big sledgehammer and I was just hitting it. We kind of used stop motion um, and then yeah. use that to then put it into the into okay. the frame uh, with the VFX. Yeah, so it's a bit half and half. Yeah. Yeah. So you really thought about this, <laughs> you know, because it's kind yeah, of... a good a good year thinking about how am I going to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I guess yeah. you have an amazing idea, and then you get oh yes, let's do it. And yeah. How, yeah. how the hell are we going to do this? Yeah. 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 And it exactly. is amazing to to hear you say how. You did it um, because I was really asking myself, how the hell <laughs> is this happening? Because you lower, yeah. it's right, you lower the camera a little bit or you put it a little up so you don't get to see the, the cross, but you feel it, you sense it, yeah. the sound is there. So I guess the sound was also a really big part. Oh, yeah, it's crucial. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I kind of like this idea, uh, even though that was kind of, uh, a decision made out of what resources we had. Mm-hmm. It was also kind of a decision that I, w- I kind of hold close to my heart anyway, is that I don't really like to show absolutely everything because it's not as scary. It's not quite as fearful. You know, what you make up in your head, particularly as an audience, is much can be much more impactful, I think. You know, reading a book, a scary book, is often more scary than watching... Yeah. The film adaptation you know what i mean because yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the things oh, in that, your head that's not how i pictured that monster <laughs> yeah. you know yeah, exactly. yeah yeah my in my head it was way scarier you know and so it's kind of that like edge of frame or just implying it is kind of really important to me i think yeah. and and so yes the sound really does help uh, carry that a bit further you know yeah 
Yeah. I find that I usually uh, cover my ears instead of my eyes when I'm terrified in a movie because it's worse <laughs> when the sound gets yes. in than the things that you are watching. I don't know if that happens to mm. you as well, but it's like sound yeah. for me. Uh, well, really... I, I laugh. Yeah. I laugh to drown the noise out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm. Yeah, totally. I really get scared with um, scary movies, you know, and I don't really like the genre so much <laughs> because mm. it's not a good time for me watching a, a horror movie. But uh, sure, watching, yeah, yeah. Uh, watching things like like this one, uh, I think it's really entertaining because it gets uh, leaves a lot to the imagination. So there you are, you're watching it. It's like three minutes, four minutes. This is it. And then you go and you go thinking, wow, what is like this? It's because of that. How would I feel if I were to be in the middle of a battle and everybody was dying uh, around me? Is it like that? Or I'm just sleeping comfortably uh, 21st century in my bed and I'm dreaming that like I'm a knight in a shiny armor mm -hmm. and I get crushed because of anxiety and things that go awry in yeah. life you know so I think it's interesting that like there like it's some I think sometimes when horror can be really far-fetched yeah um you know where it's like really like th this could never happen you know <laughs> I, I, I do struggle with that sometimes, whereas I think some, you know, when stuff is like quite close to home and you're like, hang on, wait a minute, you know, that feels a bit strange or it's, it's the, um, it's like the liminal, you know, um, and it's like, you know, you see lots of shadows and you're like, when you're walking home at night and you're like, hang, hang on, that's a bit scary. Why is, why is that? Why am I fearful right now? That to me is more interesting overall. You know, you're not just scared. You're also wondering what it is, like you said, you know, it's your imagination, isn't it? And so sometimes when it's when it's a slasher or those kind of movies, um, yeah, they can be fun because it's like it's entertaining, you know, but it, it, it only carries sometimes they can only carry that one element. Yeah. Um, and then it's kind of it's gone after that, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm really glad that you felt like you thought about it afterwards. That was one of my big worries, I think, is yeah, people I, just forget about it. No, you, know? it, it, you really kept thinking. Uh, so what the hell? <laughs> why? Just the why. I really love when I watch a movie uh, or a short uh, film and I say, why? Uh, how mm. is it going to affect the, the... You just get to imagine beyond. And I really like that because my brain is working on it. And it's yes, fantastic yeah. to have a little bit of uh, room to imagine because like sometimes everything is just there for you to, to watch and there is nothing yeah. you can think of. And I really like yes. cracking my brains a little bit y of how. Yeah, I, I find it it's really interesting because I, I took me and my brother, we work quite close together and we talk about this quite a lot and we've We've recently, I've sort of, sort of recently discovered that horror is, to me uh, particularly, and it's sometimes defined in the dictionary in the same way, is the horror of something that's happening right there and then, and it's kind of a shock, the shock or the or the horrificness of of what you're seeing. So you could, you could say the horror of war, for example. You often think about that, and you see a war landscape, but what I'm really interested in is more. Is what I refer to as terror, which is like this, where you're waiting to go to war, or you're waiting to see this werewolf, or you're waiting to see a ghost. You know, it's that indescribable moment beforehand that you know something's coming, but you're not quite sure. I just that's that's my ultimate goal, I think, uh, yeah. when I'm trying to make these kind of films. Yeah, yeah, it's the fear that you get, the anticipation, mm -hmm. or maybe even later. I guess that's what yeah. uh, war veterans feel you know, because you yes. get to recall everything you've lived, the emotions, the the place, the people are surrounding you, and that must be devastating. And I mm -hmm. got that from the from the actor. So um, where did you um, draw inspiration for this script? 
uh, it was it's actually based off a painting. Um, okay. uh, there's a, yeah, there's a, a Russian artist called Denis Fokas Kostromitin. I think that's how you say his name. I, I can send you a. Yeah, <laughs> I can please. Write it down I, I'm writing it down. You know. But, yes, yes. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't pronounce his name very well. But yeah, it's Russian. Basically, you know? <laughs> the, the, yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, and he uh, he has like his work is sort of kind of what I was talking about. Like it's kind of this like liminal. You're not quite sure. It's very dream focused. Mm -hmm. It's also focused on uh, a sort of Mediterranean antiquity as well, which I'm really interested in. You know the sort of medieval, uh, the like the older myths and things like that. And um, he had this painting called "A Fever Dream of a Knight Devoured by His Armor." So this painting depicts this really dark image of a knight who's kind of trying to take trying to get out of his armor essentially and um yeah i got in, I managed, I got in touch with him and he was um very uh he, he was really kind and gave us permission to sort of base our script off that essentially oh, okay. um, and we sort of just we didn't really do that much we just expanded it a little bit and sort of changed it from to, to more of a crushing idea um, and setting as well was slightly different, but yeah, that's where okay. it's kind of come from. So if you are into those type of, of movies on history here, there is a Spanish director, Paul Urquijo, that made yeah, a yeah. film uh, last year. It, it's called mm -hmm. Irati, and I think you're going to love it. I will okay. send you yeah. the link later <laughs> so you can have the info. But yes, yes, please. Yeah, yes, he focuses okay. on those type of stories and like mythology okay, and nature and medieval times. So mm -hmm. he's fantastic. I think you're going to enjoy that. Yes. That's why That's I'm cool. telling okay, you, yeah, you need we'll... to go to Sidious because you will find yeah, him there. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah, wicked, right. Okay, yeah, I'm always yeah. up for recommendations as well, for sure. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, what else are you doing at the moment? Because mm, my dreams have been dark of late. Uh, it's been fantastic to watch, so I want to watch a little something else <laughs> that you maybe have. Yeah, in your sure. Heads. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we're working on a couple more shorts. Um, we have a short about. Um, uh, this, they're, they're called Tide Waiters, and they were, they were these guys that used to watch the... They're like kind of customs officers, you know, oh, okay. watch for smugglers. Um, yeah, so there's um, we've got a short film idea about that, and uh, another couple as well, one about a, a medium who tours the UK. Okay. Um, and uh, we're also working on a couple of feature ideas as well. Um, yeah, so... Okay, so we see. will be talking in the future. Yeah, for sure. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really... Got to really... get them off the ground first. Yeah. yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what is your favorite part of this job? It's not an easy world. Uh, but, <laughs> no, it's not, not at all. I, I, there's two parts I really love. There's the, um, the conceptual side, you know, when you're kind of coming up with the ideas and you're sort mm -hmm. of piecing it all together and it kind of starts forming from from sort of nothing i find that really interesting um and i also really love the edit as well because it's that that germ that it's become and then you see it kind of materialize a bit more uh, i find that really fascinating as well everything in between is kind of is great it's good fun there's good fun there's good parts of everything else but those two really stick out i think and uh, would you say it's difficult for for you guys to find uh, a budget uh, and some financial help uh, in the UK? Yes, it's very difficult. It's very it's very competitive, um, and there's only really one public funding body. Okay. And obviously, now that we're no longer in the EU, uh, which I you know I'm yeah. incredibly yeah. ashamed about, uh, means you know our our links to industry of are a bit more broken I think and mm -hmm. yeah it's just I think it's just extremely at the moment it feels like a community mm -hmm. and I think we need to shift more towards an industry okay. and that means I think that means like you know more people investing mm -hmm. that can invest essentially but 
we're not there yet i don't think but yes it is extremely difficult you know? yeah because i mean i was very lucky to get i was very lucky to get money for this this short yeah. because it takes a lot of money it takes a lot of work even to do a short film so if you wanna yes you know try a feature film and you need to cast and you need photography and you need locations and everything in the middle effects and then distribution and all of that it's yeah. like yeah we people watch movies and say oh wow this was good not so good i love that but do we really know how much work you have to put into yes that? i mean yeah i mean it makes you it certainly makes you uh less less critical i think yeah. as a when you become a filmmaker i think you're watching you like that wasn't really my kind of thing but i can i, I can appreciate the yeah. the fact that it was a miracle to be made in the first place yeah. You know? so yeah you, you um, get to see and it's and it's you focus it still on astounds the me that, that yeah on the, yes in, yeah. In the effort yeah. that somebody put into creating something and i guess mm -hmm. that's a miracle in a way that is, so Yeah, particularly after a certain period of time as well. I think there was a yeah. there was an, an era where it felt like anyone could do any like not anyone, but anyone yeah. could kind of go and make a film if you had like the right connections in in Hollywood or whatever. And that was kind of cool because there had, you had like a lot of trashy movies come out as well, which were like kind of on the on the surface level a little bit bad, but actually they were quite fun or they became cult classics and stuff. You know? But then there was a point in time when all of a sudden no one was buying anything anymore and like this you know and, and now it's like yeah to, to make a film seems like a miracle I think. yeah i guess if you are not marvel <laughs> you just, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know something for disney plus you just need to uh -huh. to be to sell your soul <laughs> to somebody i think so I'm ready to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, if, I'm ready there to sign on the dotted line if, you, yeah, if anyone's offering. Yeah, they, they you get know. you the okay. opportunity. It's good work, you know, but at the end of the day, you are a creative person. You need to do mm -hmm. what your heart tells you to do. So, and you have ideas mm -hmm. and you would love for them to make it, you know, possible to get to light. Yeah. But I guess it's difficult for the industry nowadays. It's expensive to, to make a, a film for all the things that gets involved. But yeah, and, I guess... and to do it ethically as well. To do it yeah. ethically as well, yeah. you know, you, you want to pay everyone. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sort of sick of not paying people. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know I've, yeah, asked, yeah, I've yeah. asked a couple of friends. One of my friends is a photographer, and he came and did the behind the scenes um, stuff for this short film. And I, I, I gave him, like, a day rate that was nowhere near what he would normally charge mm -hmm. but at least i felt like i'd give him something you know? um so there's that element as well you know and it's like looking after the people that are helping you create this thing i think is quite important and you know everyone's struggling you know the last thing they need is to come and yeah. <laughs> work, work on my on my work set for free I, you know yeah it's work really a nice experience set, you know, so. i'm learning lots of things but i have to pay the bills at the end of the month so exactly yeah yeah and I know I do, and so yeah. certainly these guys do. And how you know, so it's you're finding even more cash now, you know. Whereas I think perhaps like five years ago, there was a lot of like sneaking around it, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of people would not be paying as they should, you know. Yeah, so I guess with all the strikes that are happening in, in the US, maybe some things will sort out for the best. But we need tons of money to go into filmmaking, so you guys can show us different things, so we don't get to see the same product all the time. And I really appreciate yeah, the, the work that you put into it because, uh, at the end of the day, you wanna experience cinema, uh, but you get tired of the same things all the time. So I really enjoy. Sure. It. Yeah. I really enjoyed the short film. It was, it was really short, you know? I was like, please, a little bit more. I need to know <laughs> a few things. I think that's best. But I'm really glad I got to talk to you because I have the same Thank questions, you, yeah. but <laughs> it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yes, absolutely, yeah. Pleasure, yeah. Thanks okay, for having me. So just, uh, let's hope we can talk uh, soon.
maybe a feature film mm -hmm. could be nice maybe we can yes see fingers features. crossed yeah, yeah that'd be nice yeah so yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your yeah. time today it's been really a pleasure i guess we'll see you yeah thank you for having me yeah great speaking to you <laughs> bye <All right. laughs>